What I've got in front of me is a normal distribution graph with a mean of 11 and a standard deviation of 3. Let's pretend for the purpose of this video that these were scores in a contest and in order to go to the next round you need to be in the top 70%. So we were cutting off the bottom 30%. And we need to work out what the minimum score was that you need to get to advance. Essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to find this value that's somewhere in here that we're going to call K, where we know that the area inside of K is 30% or 0.3. So one way we can do this is to think about this of we're trying to find that the probability of our x value being less than k is equal to that 0.3. And we're solving for k. Now our graphics calculator can find this value quite quickly. If we turn it on and we go to the distribution section, so second distribution, we can go to the function 3, which is inverse norm. If we hit enter on that, it's going to ask what area do you need to find? And the area that's always looking for in this graphics calculator is to the left of our k value. So to the left of our k value is 0.3, or the probability of 0.3. So we enter that in. Then we enter our mean which in here is 11, and standard deviation, which here is 3, and we hit the paste, and it'll paste it into our run area. If we hit enter, it'll give you what the k value is for that area. So in this case, our k value is approximately equal to 9.43. But let's pretend for the purpose of this video that we also were interested in the top 10%. We wanted to know who were the top 10%. So what the minimum score was to be in that. So our new K value will actually be up in here. And we know that in this section is the 10% of area or 0.1. To be able to find that, we're looking for the probability that our x value this time is going to be greater than our 0.1 or 10%. But with the TI-84 Plus calculator, we actually need to flip this problem around. It always finds the area to the left hand side of k. So if the area to the right hand side of k is 10%, or 0.1, the area to the left hand side of k in here must be 1 subtract this or 0.9, 90%. So essentially we're actually trying to find the probability that our x value is going to be less than 0.9. Now and when we enter that into our calculator, we go to the second again and we go to the distribution and into inverse norm. Our area in here has changed to 0.9. Our mean is still 11 and our standard deviation is still 3. So when we paste that in, it will give us our k value, which is just here. So therefore, our k value is approximately equal to 14.84. So the real key thing to remember here is when we're using the inverse function of our TI-84 plus C calculator, it only ever finds the area to the left of the K value that you're trying to find. So if you're looking for the K value for a top 10% or a top 30% or whatever that is, you've actually got to change that question to find the K value of the bottom 90% or whatever it is that's to the left hand side of the k value that you're looking for. 